Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the ice maker blow motor and thermistor assembly in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 3-8 socket wrench with an extension, quarter-inch nut driver, flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new ice maker blower motor and a thermistor assembly. This ice maker blower motor is located inside the freezer compartment on the left side mounted at the back of the evaporator cover. The ice maker blower motor, when running, blows cold air into the ice maker compartment. If the ice maker stops making ice, open the left side door and press in the door switch up at the top. If there is no cold air coming out of the duct, it's time to check and replace the ice maker blower motor and thermistor assembly, if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. Now I'm going to remove the uh, drawer from the freezer. slide it out. Next we're going to use a 3-8 socket wrench and we're going to take out three bolts here that holds the door. Three on each side. And now we're going to lift off the door. I'm going to push the door rails in. Now I'm going to remove the freezer drawers pull out and lift it off. Same here, pull out, lift it off. And I'm going to push in the rails. All right, so our next step would be removing this uh, cover. And I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to insert it into this opening. And we're going to pry this, push it up. And now we can pull it down slightly and remove it. All right, so our next step would be to remove this divider. Uh, we'll have to do several things before we can slide it out. I'm going to start with uh, taking out this uh, pin. I'm going to use this uh, flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to pry it out. Next, I'm going to remove this connecting bar. And I'm going to use this uh, needle nose pliers. Uh, there are two clips over here, and I'm going to uh, squeeze. All right, the uh, next step would be taking out these two stoppers one on the back, one on the front of the divider. The stopper. Uh, looks like a horseshoe with uh, two symmetrical clips at this end. So you can see this tab uh, is absolutely identical on the opposite side. So I'm using my fingers to spread it apart and slide it towards the front. Okay, now we can see how that thing look like. And now I'm going to remove the front one the same way, spreading it apart and sliding it out. Now we can slide the divider out of these uh, two brackets at the top. It goes towards the rear of the fridge. Now I need to unplug this uh, motor plug and I'll squeeze these side tabs and pull it down. Now we need to remove this uh, last barrier that covers the part that we need to replace. Two quarter inch screws on the top. We need to remove them using a quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to take them out. And now I can remove the panel. Pull at the top. And 
take it out. This is our ice maker blow motor and the thermistor. And we're going to take it out. They're going to start with the uh, thermistor and you need to remove the uh, clip. I'm going to slide the clip of the copper tubing. I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to pull out the uh, thermistor. And unplug this motor plug. Two tabs on the side. Squeeze them and pull it pull it apart. Next, I'm going to remove this corner screw using a nut driver. I'm not going to remove the motor. And uh, there's a two clips at the bottom and two clips at the top. And also, this portion is uh, inserted over that little tube which holds the screw. So I need to do simultaneously, uh, very slightly. And I'm going to pry on this bottom tabs. All right. So I'm going to remove the seal from the motor. And I'm going to install it onto the duct. And uh, we need to install this uh, seal over the opening. Okay, so this is our old ice maker blower motor. And uh, we need to take this uh, mounting bracket of the thermistor. So I'm going to use it on the new one. So this is our old ice maker blower motor and the thermistor assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, now we're going to install this uh, in mounting bracket onto the uh, thermistor, on the new thermistor. Clip it on. And now we're going to take it into the installation process. Before I can install the motor in, make sure that uh, the seal is in place. That's our seal. I'm going to put it around the opening. And now the motor comes in. Place it on. Push it in. I uh, put the bottom clips on first without locking it in, just putting it from the bottom up. And then I uh, brought the motor, the top portion, in and pressed it. So the top two clips lock. And now I'm going to secure this motor to the housing with this uh, quarter inch screw. Now I'm going to unwind this uh, thermistor harness. Let's stretch it slightly. And I'm going to pull it through. And I'm going to plug this in. And I'm going to install thermistor on this copper line. The thermistor should be on the top. And now I'm going to install the cover panel back on the bottom first. And I'm going to bring up the top, press it in so this clip will lock. We've got a couple of clips here. And we're going to secure it with the uh, two quarter inch screws at the top. And I'm going to plug this uh, motor plug in. Make sure it locks. And now we're going to install the divider into the brackets here at the top. I need to slide these two pieces into the brackets. And we move it slowly. And now we can push it. All right, so I can install the uh, rear stopper now. It goes in this way. You see that little arch? It's facing up. 
and going to install it. All right, one, and then the second one. Same way, the arch goes up. Okay, now I'm gonna install this connecting bar. This end goes first. I'm gonna place the hinges in, rotate it, and I'm gonna press down, I'm gonna lock the tabs. And now I'm going to install this locking pin and push it in. Next, I'm going to slide in the uh, cover, the motor cover. Put it like that, and we're gonna slide these side tabs. Uh, ears would be probably a nice name for it. Push it up, and this will lock in. Okay, now I'm gonna place the drawers in. I'm gonna pull out the rails. I'm gonna show you how this bin goes in. This tip goes right there, and this one, two, and three tabs goes in this cutouts here. Same on this side, so. Now we're gonna pull out the uh, door rails. All right, now I'm gonna install the door. We're gonna place it on the slides, on the hinges. And uh, underneath of these two rails, this hook will go into this cutout on one side and the opposite side. So now let's secure the uh, door to the uh, hinges here. I have three three eighths bolts on each side. I'm gonna start manually, and I'm gonna use the socket wrench here. All right, now I'm gonna install these. Uh, Freezer drawer, bring it in, place it, and so this bottom part will fit into the cutout and it's installed. Now we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.